Hello everyone. Uh, this is going to be the first video uh, for our Make-A-Wish motor. This is the crankshaft out of the motor. Uh, as you may recall, our, our core motor was kind of in rough shape, so Glenn is bringing us uh, another one to pick from. But this, this is the crankshaft out of that motor. I uh, had a uh, number two rod journal, was uh, worn six thou, and the crankshaft is bent 15 thousandths. So I'm just going to show the process for straightening a crankshaft. Uh, you can see by my dial here, I've got a dial indicator on the center main, and I'm rotating the crankshaft, and it's about 15 thousandths out of alignment. So we are going to straighten that. It's, it's not going to be used. This is just a cast crank, late model crank, but I just want to show the process. Uh, this is in my crank press between center, so I'm just going to clamp the crankshaft down and apply just a little bit of pressure. I'm on the low spot of the crank right now. I'm just going to apply enough to pressure to deflect the crankshaft about 50 or 60 thousandths. And then using these tools here, a BFH and a BFC, which of course stands for Big Favorite Hammer and Big Favorite Chisel, and we are going to shock the molecules in this crank to see if we can get it to go back to straight. You can press on a crank all day long and you won't do anything. You do have to sh hit it with a, with a hammer to get them all used to, to move. And let's see what we've done. Okay. It's now about, it's about 5,000. So we're halfway there. And it's important to have a crankshaft straight before you do any grinding. Picture if the crankshaft is is bent towards these two center rods, then those two rods have got more stroke than the other two. And you really like to equalize the stroke length when you grind a crankshaft. And plus the thrust will run out, the crank flange can run out, even the snout can run out if the crank is bent. So again, I'm going to apply enough pressure to push it, 50 or 60 thou. Give it a, another whack. So you can you can see the process one more time, and we'd be pretty close. Of course, I check on all three journals, but generally it's bent most in the middle. Now this crank, even though we're not using it, I mean this could be saved <clears throat> by getting it straight. It would grind at ten under, but uh, obviously we'd want to magnaflux this crank um, before I do anything. Now another thing I want to point out is the difference between a cast and a forged crank. This is a the late model crank, and you can see this this line right here, that's uh, left from the casting process. It's a sharp, uh, sharp edge, and this is on any cast crankshaft, whereas this, this is a steel B crank, and you can see the difference. It's the forging line is much wider and uh, sort of flat across the top versus sharp, and this is true of any, any forged crank. If you don't know if it's a forged or a steel crank, all you need to do is look at that line, and that'll tell you right off. Now my next installment would, will be magnafluxing this crankshaft uh, and we'll do that in a day or two.